So I heard about California Freedom Summer through um, Imperial Valley Equity and Justice Coalition because they reached out and they also were looking for interns. I'm originally from the Imperial Valley, however, I'm going to school at Stanford. Um, so I was up in the Bay Area, I came down here um, last night and just, I came here, I guess, more of like mitigator slash helper slash, uh, I guess you could say support. Um, I've been helping with the info sessions. So for example, I helped with the um, voter rights info session. I've helped in the labor one, um, labor violations, especially in, the, in capitalistic societies uh, like ours. There's a lot of labor violations. And I guess it hits more home knowing that I've had family members who kind of have endured these violations. Where I'm from, there's there's, a, there's always like heat waves and so forth. So um, seeing all these farmers and stuff, and like I have one of my uncle who's a farmer, seeing like him kind of work through all these dangerous conditions and kind of for him and like for a lot of us, um, especially for uh, first generation immigrants, we're kind of like, oh, these, you know, conditions are perfectly normal. They're perfectly fine because we're trying to get money. We, we see it as at least we're getting paid. However, you know, there's basic standards that we should be following. CF has truly made me realize um, how I should be able to, like, I guess you could say, share information and so forth. And also just the impact that I'm having with sharing this information. This summer experience and just kind of like this whole internship and so forth has really kind of changed my mind on organizing. One of the things that in organizing we have is just like this is hopelessness that we feel and it's because we do fight a lot of things and then we have a lot of challenges and it just becomes so hard at the end of the day. However, I think CFS kind of just reminded me, yeah, we're gonna feel hopeless probably like 99% of the time. But there is that 1%, you know, that we will be getting what we can, and we'll be fighting and we'll be winning. And it's hard, but there will be those victories. But overall, youth organizing just helps you broaden your, your, um, your mind and helps you, um, CFS also helps you just kind of impact other communities. I'm seeing all these people come here and they're just kind of like participating. And it warms my heart because it's, because I guess you could say part of my legacy or kind of like the impact that I'm doing. It's just like, I'm doing it for these people. I was able to actually contact Calexico High School and kind of get them out here. And um, we were able to arrange it, get them buses, get them to come here. And I think, you know, they're, they're learning just like I am and they're so capable of everything capable probably even more than me. So I'm so happy that they're here. And it's, just, it's like nice to see that, you know, I'm helping out the Imperial Valley or at least Calexico come out here and kind of be more represented in the map because there's so many connections that they're already making and it's crazy. What I mean is um, through CFS and also the internship I did with IB Equity and Justice, there is these like healthy mechanisms that I've kind of never seen. Um, and what I mean is like, for example, if a traumatic event um, happen, we kind of just like take a moment to um, reflect upon it. Also just being able to talk about it in a safe space. And it makes uh, politics, I guess, more interesting to me because, you know, politics is all about us. It's all about society and it's all about how we feel. So being able to talk about it and make it personal helps, I guess you could say, untangle a lot of the emotions and also just helps kind of clear our paths and also open our minds because what if someone else has a different perspective? We kind of just want to talk to them about it and just see how it is. Talking about healthy environments, like especially with my, um, my boss, like the internship, um, she doesn't like that I call her boss, but I think she was, she set a standard for what work is to me. And I think it's like, I should be getting paid for what, I, what I'm doing. Um, she would always remind me to take care of myself. And that's something that I really have never seen with any boss or person in power. So it was just so refreshing. And I'm excited because I know that's my standard now. If I ever get mistreated, I guess I, I will fight back. So um, I'm really proud that I have this idea of what a healthy environment is.